cognition is knowing about the knowing. So you already know how to design. You were already designers. We gave you a few kind of techniques of how to amplify your, your creative skills. But now you're going to do metacognition, which is you're going to go above, look at yourself as to why we did what we did. And one of the ways in which we're going to do this is have you design a course. If you were to teach it, how would you teach it? And contextualize it to the kind of challenges in the context you have in your own organizations. And even if you yourself are not going to get up and, and teach it, we're going to put you, that's a great exercise because one of the best ways of figuring out what it is that you learn is to figure out how you can teach it. And as much as possible, think of it as some, a course that's really not getting taught, right? Then take a little back out of it and say, okay, there are different dimensions of creating innovation capacity. <coughs> how, what are you going to do on all of those fronts? And come up with some simple but powerful plans of how you're going to build innovation capacity. Then, of course, you're going to change tax. Think about our RAN challenges, we're going to characterize the challenge. We're going to do a stakeholder analysis because, to <coughs> William's point, the, the people right at the end of the chain, the recipients, are things we need to be very aware of, but all resources flow in very convoluted paths to them. And so we need to understand the larger system of stakeholders and, and what are we going to do with that system and where they're going to intervene, so we're going to do that. And then what we're going to do is, you did a brainstorm yesterday, and that was about you being given a question and you're coming up with concepts. This time, you're going to do a very similar thing, where you're going to be in the same headspace saying, hey, what about this and what about that? But you're going to do it at the system level. So, uh, and then, tomorrow, this is to understand the system. Tomorrow, we're going to say, we're going to wear a different hat. We're saying, what is it that we're trying to shoot for? And if we have these intervention pathways, how can we projectize them? Given this option, how can we turn it into something actionable and that looks like a project that we can work on given our capacity? So we'll do this thing where you look at your own RAN structure and RAN capacity and then the possible pathways and do a match between what your capacity is and what your interest is and, and, and how you're going to projectize those pathways. But this sharing is different from the sharing you do this is a sharing, and the sharing has the purpose that you have to now figure out what it is that you came up with, and the act of sharing often has the purpose of clarifying what you came up with. So you sometime having a discourse and, and, and teasing the issues and all the questions that you're coming up with, we'll have a chance to share our insights and discussions as a roundtable kind of fashion. Those are the two days, okay? Yesterday we brought three things together. Right? Uh, let's use the cooking metaphor. Right? When you're cooking and you're planning to cook a really good meal, you have to plan what you're going to, the menu brought together is a process. Right? It's not the only process, there are other processes, but this process we know is very powerful, so we share this process. Okay? So we brought a process. But we, we brought, the, the real magic is that, is who is in the room. The fact that you all flew out from wherever you were and there is a collection of people, this is probably the most remarkable collection of people in the same room in Africa that has happened in the last year. Think about it. If you have ingredients lying on the table, that doesn't make a meal. You have to cook it, right? And we actually cooked, cooked the ingredients. We actually took the effort. You worked so hard. Action. This is something to take away for all the courses that we're going to design that you can bring the ingredients together, but unless you act and unless you, you bring it together with a lot of energy, nothing much happens. But what happened yesterday is that even though your thoughts were relatively, you know, they were at a level where the, rest, the fidelity was low, there was a lot of power in, in, in the kind of models you came up with. If we went to mine even the ideas you came up with in a demonstration project, because yesterday was not really meant to solve a problem. It was just an exercise of how, how you use the tools. But there were some fantastic transformative innovation ideas out there. 